Okay, so what materials do we need? We need some scotch tape, straws, newspaper, paper mache. I use a two to one ratio, so two cups of flour to one cup of water, and I add a dab of salt to prevent molding. Paintbrush, scissors, Okay, and that's just water and paper towel for the paintbrush. Gesso, paint. Uh, I'm using acrylic paint over here. And floor wax. Let's get started, shall we? Okay, so you have the straw here, and you can just go ahead and cut it. I've cut my pieces out already. And right now we're going to make a base for the paper mache. So take out your scotch tape and use it to cover your straw. So I try to do this evenly. Not so even. Okay. Let's see. Let's line. Okay, we're gonna line the straw up and then cut it down here. Okay, now we have our base. Now get your newspaper and make sure when you tear it that the, the edges are jagged. That way they don't show up the, on the final product. Okay, so I'm going to put it in the paper mache mix here. Make sure you have newspaper or a plastic bag as it's on the surface you're working on so you don't make a huge mess. But you probably will anyway. Okay, now so just gently roll it onto the straw piece. Make sure it covers the end. Like that. And then just roll it on. Go ahead and roll a few layers on if you can. Let's see, okay. Okay, so same thing. We're gonna dip the newspaper into the paper mache mix. Take it out and roll it over. This one came out much better. Now I'm just going to let it dry in the sun. Wait about 30 minutes or less if it's hot. It's been 30 minutes and my straws are dry now. Okay, now I'm going to paint Gessel on it. It's okay if it's still a little see-through. We can go back with another coat. Okay, so that will be good for the first coat. Now I'm just going to let it dry under the sun for a bit. The gesso will serve as a base. I've seen people do this without adding gesso, but I'm just going to add it to be on the safe side.
Here you can see I've left both of them under the sun and the bottom one is actually not as shiny as the top one because I that was the first one I painted. It's dry enough for a second coat anyway. So now I'm going to hold it on this end and paint that again. Okay, now I'm going to leave this out in the sun again. The stalls are dry now. And now, after two layers of gesso, we're going to paint it. After about 10 minutes, the beads will dry. Now that the bead is dry, we can go over it with some floor wax. Without this step, the bead may stick to anything and everything. My pot is sticky on its own. Now that the pieces are dry, I'm going to put them on some yarn. Now I'm going to attach this to my staff. You can use this tutorial to make any kind of bead. I used it for my Yuna Nirvana staff. You can see them here. And all the way down here. If you use this tutorial and make something, please post in the comments what you make. I'd love to see it.